takes a lot of time. Even though I do like doing it and just genuinely like doing it, I, I, I do limit how often. And look, what just, look who just popped out. Somebody got a son. Somebody got a um. What do you call him? Oh, I forgot what you, what it's called, but like a baby in a spiritual realm, a spirit baby. Your son is watched over and protected as he explores his world. So you got a spirit baby in a spiritual realm, and it's a boy specifically. And they're letting you know that he's protected. You don't have anything to worry about. So some of y'all just get the feeling it's not that, though. You would rather have him here with you. But they're just letting you know that he's protected. Even if you lost the baby, he's protected. All right, what are the messages do I have here for someone? I apologize. Apparently, I had too many videos on my phone that I forgot to delete. I'm usually good about that. Not today. When Swam's sitting here shuffling with talking to y'all, I'm thinking about what is several things that I want to eat. And I'm sitting here thinking I was going to cook something. And it's amazing how it was like, really said I'm cooking something and now I'm changing my mind. What the hell? Anyway, everything's okay. Hmm. That was the first time I ever seen a card in this deck. What else is here? I love when I do readings and I get cards that I've never seen in a deck before. That's just everything. Easy does it. Stop trying so hard to control everything and all doors will open for you. It says walk away, leave unhealthy situations, and enjoy the new doors that open as a result. So this is what this is giving me. Somebody, somebody here is leaving something that's not, that's toxic. And they are allowing the new doors to open away while somebody else is trying to control something. It's just like two, it's like a conflicting energy. Someone walking away, allowing, and someone is trying to force something. And here's perfect timing. This is the right time for you to move forward. You can't make this shit up. So the person that's walking away, they're doing exactly what they've been guided to do. It says, let the universe and other people know what you need. So you just walking away, you're being guided to do this. While you're walking away, if there's anything that you need, prayer, strength, whatever you need, the universe is telling you don't be afraid to ask for it at this time because you're being supported, okay? So let's get more into this other situation. I'm trying to figure out what I want to use because I want to make this quick. Because I, I feel at this moment, I just feel like I had about enough of readings right now. Um, my dream's been like too fucking vivid, too vivid, too clear, too much. It's too much. You got to write to when it's too much spiritual gifted or not. To say, you know what, like, I need a moment, I'm straight. Like, especially when you, with, depending on what you be seeing in your dreams. Bruh. Angel of strength. I think that's some shit. I just said that word. So, somebody here is very spiritually strong. And your crown chakra is popping. That's why I'm talking about dreams. Because you're getting a lot of the information that you have in your dreams. It's purple on both of these cards too. Your crown chakra and your solar plexus is popping. So you want to make sure you be eating like certain stuff right now that feeds both of those. Alright, I'm going to put both of these here. Damn, the heart chakra came out too. Anxiety in reverse. For some of y'all, if you had issues with anxiety, you are healing that right now. You're probably not even aware of it, but you're doing better with it. Like, it's getting better. You're not as nervous. You're not as anxious. You're not as worried about shit. Okay? 
you probably haven't even noticed that about yourself, but that's what you're doing right now. Because everything that you're doing is coming straight from your... You're speaking your truth as well. That is another thing that is healing your anxiety. For a lot of y'all, in order to heal your anxiety, you got to speak your truth. You got to speak your truth and you got to tap into your creative um, your creative side. You're very creative with your words and also just period. You're a creative person. Those are the two that help you channel your anxiety is what I'm getting for you. You speak in and you actually create it. And those, those are the two that help you with your anxiety. That's how you can channel your energy. Somebody else does have anxiety, though, that's in your energy or trying to be in your energy because they know that you are a goddess of love here. Okay? Somebody here knows that you're a goddess of love and a goddess of strength. Somebody also knows here that you operate from a very pure heart space. Okay? Somebody here wants... To, somebody here... It's like somebody here knows this about you, but they're trying to hold on to you. So why they try to hold on to you then? They know you're a goddess of love. They know you're a goddess of strength. And why they try to hold on? What did they do? Let's find out. Is this about to be a love reading? Oh, God. Okay, why are they trying to hold on here? Why are you trying to hold on here? I still keep thinking about food. Conflict and destiny. And here we go. Hmm. Somebody's trying to hold on to you and they're conflicted big time because they know that you're um, a destined person. That's why. It's right here. They know you're a destined person. And they got some news about them being tricked about something. They had a lot of tricksters. It's, it's coming off like they had a lot of tricksters person to trick them about their spot. But let's see. Somebody feel the type of way because they don't know if they're going to be able to live their life to the fullest like they, they must have thought they was going to be. What else is here? This person has a very blocked vision, like their third eye is blocked, like they don't see properly. What else is here? Like they were supposed to pay attention to something here, but they, they, they didn't. What else is here? Very much two cards. Damn, two cards. Why we gotta have two cards? Uh, divine path here. All right. Somebody here took a leap of faith. Somebody here walking away from this situation, this toxic situation, has actually accelerated somebody's growth. Can you clarify this, this woman? Can you clarify this woman? Thank you. Okay, there's a woman in this situation that's in a lot of trouble. This woman here is in a lot of trouble. This is somebody who pretended to be like something that they weren't. I don't know what exactly what that was yet, but they was very deceptive. 11, 11 is here. They pretended to be a twin flame. Because here go the real person right here. Hmm. Lord, this is about to be a love reading. What the fuck? I need another. 
This takes a lot of energy, bro. This person got abundance. This person's gifted. This person has psychic abilities. They're going to be famous. They're going to be asked to go to a lot of social events. People are going to be asking this person to come speak. So they're going to get paid for stuff like that. Um, this person made a choice. And the choice was to go towards their destiny. Can you keep it going with this lady? Matter of fact, hold on. Somebody had the opportunity here to listen to somebody. Like somebody was literally put in somebody's life as a guide to listen to them and then but the thing is they weren't supposed to just listen to everything they said they were also supposed to follow their own path this person was just here as a helper can you clarify um can you clarify the lady here please why is why is these cards feeling like this Okay, can you clarify this lady here, please? The deception. Can you clarify this lady, please? Somebody met this person online. Somebody here met this person online. Somebody met this person online also too. There's somebody here who said something online that actually provided some type of proof that somebody was looking for. And it's like somebody got the proof. Can you clarify more with this? With this lady and all this crap. Somebody, okay. Somebody, somebody said something online where somebody else was, somebody else caught wind of it or something. And this lady, they found out that this lady basically is for the streets. Like this person, like she gonna be with everybody. Um, somebody found out. So somebody could have found out online and then maybe they went to go find out proof and they got the proof. Okay. Um, it says non-committal serial data just for fun. Somebody found that out about somebody, whether you're a man or a woman. Okay, somebody found that about somebody when it comes to this lady. This lady or man, whoever, is a very, like, angry person inside. They have a lot of inner conflict. Um, this person was also, this is the person that's also, too, who has the black third eye. Because they haven't learned some sort of lessons. This is somebody who has yet to learn their lessons, okay? And whomever was listening, it's almost like, I'm getting the vibe that whoever channeled this or whoever was listening, they're saying like, they know enough already. Like, it's kind of like the energy when I first was about to start this, I was like, oh, here we go again. It was like somebody, is knowing enough. Let's get more of this because this is weird. Somebody was doing online dating and they were just doing it just for the fuck of it. And they, they end up running into somebody else who's like for the fuck, like is on demon time for real. Like whoever this was that was online dating and was just doing it for the fuck of it, they ran into somebody that's just on demon time for real and it's just a game for them for real whoever this is that is just a game for real the other person didn't realize what what it is what somebody really is telling you was just a game i'm getting a sense that somebody else here could have caught some type of feelings 
towards somebody who is just a game for them for real. Why you was just thinking this was for fun or you was just trying to pass time. You ran into somebody where they showed you like, no, nah, I'm going to show you a game. And they, they played the game well. It's what it's given. That is why you're being guided to walk away, somebody here, because this situation over here is just enough. And the reason, I'm, I'm even in the reading right now, as I'm reading right now, being very present, the energy, my energy is here for the, for the positive, for the person that's walking away. But just that quick, the energy trying to shift to this, right? Even though this is part of the reading, it tried to shift to this, okay? Because somebody over here... The other person is trying to control the situation and come off like they're trying to keep you around because they was involved with this. That's what I'm getting. They was involved in a situation where they got tired of with somebody online dating. The person they got tired of with though took them to a whole nother, like a whole nother, like they got distracted in the worst way. Meanwhile, you're over here in another room, another energy, another frequency. Because even right here, as I'm the energy different from here to here, right? You are in a whole nother rim, a whole nother frequency. Here, this person is over here tampering the rim with some stuff they don't even know what they tampering with, right? You want to walk away, which is good, perfect. You want to go towards your destiny. You want to do the things that's going to make you happy, you know, that's going to light you up inside. Somebody over here is tampering just to be doing something and... Um, you're not for it. And now they're trying to keep you around um, after they made their decisions here. Can you give me more? This is, ugh. Can you give me more with this um, superficial person? Yeah, you fell back. Once you realized what was going on here, you got away from this situation. You're walking away. You feel bad already when you realize they was over here doing this, just wasting time doing this. But now you're getting, it looks like now you're being guided to permanently walk away and close the door. Um, missing you, backfire repercussions. So, all right. Thank you very much, Spirit. So what someone did was here is this. You... Peak game. You saw the person was doing whatever it is they were doing. Okay, so you got away. You walked away. You fell back, actually. You gave them their space. You moved. You you fell back. In the meantime, while you fell back, this person was doing whatever it is they was doing. Whether they were online dating, physically dating, wasting time, just letting time pass with different random people. You let it, that happen. What it looks like now is that they were playing around playing some type of game they could have been trying to somebody also here fought an std they could have also been trying to make you jealous try to get your attention try to get some type of reaction out of you in the midst of this but the only thing that has happened here is this as a result this person met somebody who plays the game better than them because this is somebody who is whether it's a male or female this is somebody who they set out to love them and leave them. Like, it's this, they're not staying with you. Like, you just the moment for the moment. And whatever they could get from you, they're going to get. Okay? This person got tied up in that. All right? As they were getting tied up in this, they were still waiting for you to come back. So they thought that you were playing a game too, but you weren't. When you stood on your business, you stood on it. When you found out basically they were entertaining others, you gave them their space. You 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 gave them time to figure out what they're gonna do. Now you're done. But now they're over here as a result, instead of being mature and trying to actually work on a real relationship with you after you found out that they were out doing whatever they were and trying to make you a third party. Once you gave them their space to try to get their mind right, they still were out doing whatever it is that they were doing. 
in the process of doing that, they called an STD. Okay? At some point in this, they realize that they miss you, but I, I feel like it's too late. Because now what has happened is this. Um, not only are you being guided to walk away, your energy is speaking that you can clearly tell that you're just not on the same frequency. You were growing. You were growing your energy. You were growing your frequency and spirit. This energy over here was not doing the same. They were spreading their energy around. They were just becoming more low vibrational. And so now that the time has come for things to do what they need to do, this person is not ready to be in your energy because they're not on the same energy field as you. So now this game that they've been playing with you actually has backfired on them. And now this is why now they're trying to control the situation and keep you here because they realize, hopefully they realize that you were never playing, but they realize that they, they probably realize that they didn't fuck up, really. So that's what this reading is very much given. And spirit, the most high God, it very much is telling you that it is definitely time to walk away. Like this is given very much like Closure on the thousand, final does it. It's a wrap. Okay. Um, I'm trying to see what else is here. Because this is also giving me very much, for some of y'all, if you had a kid with this person and you lost the kid, it was going to be a boy. Or if you were supposed to have a kid with this person, he was going to be a boy. You were going to have a boy with this person. This is a love reading. This person misses you. Um, whatever they were doing with whoever they were doing it with, they didn't get the same reciprocal energy. Dash! They didn't receive the same reciprocal energy from them. This person also um, loves to see you wake up in the morning. So they miss you in that aspect as well. Dash! It says spiritual ignorance, lack of spiritual knowledge. What did I do to you? Why are you so mean to me? So this is somebody who was being a serial dater. I told you already. I don't need to. I don't need to repeat it. You already get it. Like they thought that you was playing the game. They didn't understand that this is serious. I don't understand what they didn't understand, but they thought you were playing a game. You weren't playing a game. Now the joke is on them. Um, and then this is spirit spilling the tea on them. They knew exactly what they were doing. This is somebody that's coming off like a narcissist. I hope you didn't know. I hoped you didn't know the impact you had on me. I played my games to try to lower your vibration strategy. So like I said, Spirit is saying you, you were doing all of this to try to lower this person's vibration, lower their frequency. And the whole time I, I was protecting them, the whole time I had them, the ancestors, the whole time we had them. You just played yourself. And in the midst of playing yourself, you got an ST to go with it. It says here that this person that they allowed to come in between them, one of them was an ex. So besides the online dating, they also were uh, reaching back out to an ex that they were dealing with at one point. All right. They lied. They constantly lied to themselves and told themselves that you didn't have good intentions for them. You were just like the other women. So they basically lied to themselves and convinced themselves this so they wouldn't have to love you properly. They were also allowing karmic friends to interfere in the relationship, listening to what they had to say, and they went along with it. It says karmic friends, agreement and soul contract, purpose to learn karmic lessons. So that was another thing. But again, now the joke is on them because they it comes off to like, um, mm. this person was too stubborn just to admit that they did you wrong and that you were a good person because they weren't trying to push you away but you walked away on your own for your own um, 
spiritual health because that's more important to you is what I'm getting from somebody over here. Your spiritual health is very important to you and you don't play with that. When somebody tried to basically make you choose between that and them. And for you, that was a no-brainer for you to choose you and your spirituality. Because they were just over here doing something that was of no value anyway. So you definitely weren't getting ready to choose them when they were over here doing something of no value is what it's giving. What else is here? And then we're going to close this off. Because this is basically somebody. Yeah, you're going towards your destiny. This is somebody basically here is now trying to chase you um, after they play the game and think that you're supposed to invest and wait on them after they took they took their sweet time and now they want to, you know, because all it's going to do is this person has a learned the lesson. They thought they was going to get away with it. This person has a learned the lesson because this is just more of somebody just trying to get their way instead of actually really understanding what is going on here and what is at stake. And so now they're very burdened after they choose to do what they've done. They could be like burdened financially here. All right, somebody here sabotaged themselves here. Now you're getting ready to step into your abundance here. Here's the Queen of Swords. Because the whole time you were telling the truth. See, somebody here listened to these karmic friends and they told them you were lying and they listened to them. So they could have told them, go out there and fuck with some hoes. Don't be waiting on her. And they did. And you didn't try to stop them. You, you, you. You understand the laws, so you didn't try to control them. You let them live a life. You let them do exactly what they wanted to do. You did not. You did not try to stop them. You did not. You let them self sabotage yourself, and they brought these burdens on themselves. You know, you showed them. You you displayed unconditional love, but now your unconditional love is towards yourself because this person reciprocal reciprocal wise did not give you back the same you gave them. Their the scales are so imbalanced. It's ridiculous here. Because the energy over here is, is very much high. This energy is very much low. And just tell the truth. Like you didn't, like you could see over here that you were doing nothing but focusing on what you were supposed to be focusing on. And somebody over here was playing, somebody over here thought they was playing chess, but they was playing low grade checkers. I don't even know if they was playing checkers. It almost would be an insult to say they was playing checkers. I don't know what the hell they was playing, but it, 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 I don't want to say checkers. Ghetto checkers or some shit? I don't know. Can you give me more with this uh, Five of Pentacles here? This person was actually a burden on you. Like, your finances are going to improve because you let this go. Because you were trying to carry the weight. And when I say carry the weight, some of y'all could have been carrying the weight of a relationship physically, Okay. And you're letting it go and it's, it's letting, you know, releasing things for you. But spiritually, you were carrying the weight because you were trying to, you could, you possibly didn't even know it. Okay. You were balancing out the scales for you. And then when it came to energies that, you know, somebody was sending you, this ex could have been sending you negative ass energy. You were, tra you were having to transmute energy from females that this person was dealing with that had nothing to do with you. And this became a burden. This became a burden. And this person was trying to hold on to your energy just to supply himself in these women. And you letting that go is bringing you a lot, a lot. You possibly didn't even know that the fuck this was happening either. You just that strong spiritually that you didn't even know. But just imagine like... If you're that strong spiritually and you can you can do that without even recognizing it, imagine letting this go and now what's coming to you. It, and what's coming to you is definitely what's coming to you. Can you clear this by this five of swords? Yeah, you find out about all of it in your dream, like I said, and now you're standing in your motherfucking power of what these people was trying to do to you. You transmuted the hell out of this and you don't even know you did it. You you're not even fully aware, but you 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 you're you're becoming aware. That's what's funny. You're becoming aware because this is how this was supposed to happen. This is how the most high is teaching you. Through this. Through this. 
this situation has actually healed uh, you transmuting this situation has healed your inner child. Congratulations. Um, this person was putting his mouth on any and everybody as well. On his ex, on these different women. Yeah, that's probably how he got the STD. He probably got a mouth STD. Because he was just putting his mouth on anybody. Somebody asked me to come back. And, um... And what it is, is that he was putting his mouth on people. And then, like, the girls will go tell their homegirls, like, try it out. And, like, they act like they want to fuck with him. But they already knew that he was dealing with somebody else. Like, they knew the person he was dealing with before. They all basically was using him. Laughing at him. And, uh, yeah, no. And it's weird because you you are also abstinent. So you see how she got her mouth covered? That's so ironic that spirit is funny. So you wasn't even want to have sex with him because you saw in your dreams that he was fucking with different women. So when you fell back from him, you also stopped sleeping with him for some of y'all? Completely. You didn't deal with him. Because you realized that Whoever he was dealing with, they also was doing some type of spell work. So you realize that they was going to try to use your energy for them. So you start fucking with them. Yeah. You picked up on it. Like I said. You knew that you knew as soon as his energy switched, you knew. That's, you stopped, that's why you stopped dealing with him sexually. Somebody here also... Um, Somebody also here likes both sexes, but they don't want nobody to know. Okay. This person, he also called himself trying to live a double life. He called, tried to call himself trying to be spiritual over here with you, but then over here doing this, but you picked up on it. Like, that's not something you can hide from a spiritual person. You just look stupid. So, that's the ending of this reading. Um... It's just looking like you're doing the right things and walking towards your destiny. And I wouldn't let nobody deter me from that, okay? Uh, goddesses, peace. Particularly goddess of love and goddess of love.